everyone, this is Kelly with a tiny bit of this. In this series, you will see me, Mom, and my daughter Mandy chalking on everything but the sidewalk. Mandy is an independent designer with Chalk Tour. You can find her on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and her website under Chalking Where the Sidewalk Ends. Come join us over on Mandy's Facebook page to see us live every Monday on her Mondays with Mom series. You may catch the full replay over on Facebook or an edited version right here on my YouTube channel. I would love for you to be a part of our journey with Chalkator, so don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell to get notified when I upload another Mondays with Mom or any other of my crafty videos. Paste goes on wet and dries hard. It does not come off until you want it to come off and then it is removable with just a little bit of water. Ink is permanent and we use that on glass and fabrics that can be heat set either in the oven or with an iron or in our case an easy press. And ceramics. And ceramics. Whatever you can heat set you can use ink on to make it permanent. So Mom will be inking these. I wonder if you could do that on wood. Can cube these? I would think you could do wood. However, I feel like the ink would not work very well on wood unless the wood is extremely smooth just because it's thinner. I feel like it would seep under the transfer in any type of grooves. Like typically wood is not completely smooth because it's got like veins that run through it. They're not called veins. I forget what they're called. <laughs> <laughs> But if you could find a piece of wood that is extremely smooth, I'm sure you could use ink and heat set it. All right, so I'm going to turn it over to Mom for her inking. Hello, everyone. I purchased these two can koozies, uh, I guess, when Mandy, Mandy and I started with Chalk Couture because they were teal. <laughs> I thought we would be kind of cool to have the Chalk Tour logo on them. So that way, when we are out and about with our koozies, people might say, Hey, what's Chalk Tour and what's that all about? So, this is what I'm going to do. We couldn't decide on what color. Anyway, the normal Chalk Tour logo is uh, what color? It's usually either a black words with a teal circle or teal words with a black circle. So we decided we we're going to do because this is these are teal. <laughs> we're gonna do one black and one white. Mine's black. Mandy wants the black one, and I actually want it to do white anyway, so it works out perfectly fine. Ooh. It always looks like it's not going to show up. As I well know, I really actually the I do have a little off. bit of a boo boo right here. That actually turned out pretty good. Especially because that's such a close color to the transfer itself. I'm going to put that aside. And he's going to rinse out the transfer a little bit. And then maybe I'll put my name on the back. Or, I don't know. We'll see. Gotta have another side I can use. Set it down on your towel and kind of blot it to dry. The so screen area. You want to make sure it's dry, especially if you're going to reuse it right away. That way it gets the best chance of sticking to your project. And then there's no little 
because she has a chance of getting little water bubbles in there too. Now if I were doing the same color, there would be probably a little different process. She wouldn't have had to clean it completely out. Some people just go from one to the other. Right. If you're doing, you can usually get, if you're doing the same color, you can usually get a couple of uses out of it as long as you go quickly from, you know, one to the other to the other. The letters are so small that it, the ink did kind of bleed under. It's possible that the transfer was still a little bit wet. Thought it was dry, it? But... Yeah. Well, this was only a dollar. Might have been dollar fifty. I'm not sure. So it's all about. Trying it right. Uh, a heat press uh, you put on 280 for 20 seconds for your iron. What is everybody doing for their iron? Um, medium. Like a medium heat, but you don't want to leave it on real long because this is. I forgot the material is neoprene. Though. Neoprene. So if you have to do it in intervals, you just need to get to heat it on there and it will be permanent. You know, it's not like it's iron on. <clears throat> We're just gonna go with it. Now, I wouldn't wanna put your iron directly on this. You would want to put <clears throat> some type of protective sheet and then make sure you wash, you cleaned it off if it's something you're gonna use again. Do I have parchment paper? I can use this. Okay. So if you don't have anything like this, you can use parchment paper and that way you just throw it away. So since I do have parchment paper, I'm going to use that just in case we get ink on it. Now, once I lay this down, I do not want to pick it back up. So. Just in case it's still a little wet. Just go down the timer. Just give it a little bit of pressure. I don't even know if I really need that. And then that's what we do when we do vinyl. Yeah. Why not? As much. Lift up. Put the back of my cradle. There we go. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm just trying to make sure I didn't get any weight. Oh shoot. <coughs> I moved I moved the parchment paper. It's stuck to your shirt. Yeah. my hair in there. Oh, have that cord. But lesson number one. Dry. I said to her you want to use the heat well silently asked her if she wanted to use the heat gun. She said no. I however however she don't really like this anyway. So you do want Oh wow, 
You do want to make sure it is dry. I did not even hear you say you want to use it. I said you want to use that. You went. Just go for it. You went. Go for it. Anyway. <laughs> I, I missed the first. I heard you say just go for it. I thought you meant like. Did you, I want you to heat set it because it didn't turn out that great to begin with. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you want to make sure it's dry. Oh wow. Feel that. That feels really weird. Yeah, it was right. Okay. Do not heat set before it's fully dry. So with this one, she used the heat tool to dry it. With this one, we didn't. We just went for it. There's the good one. We like the white one anyway. I like the white one. Hey, well, that's the project for tonight. That's it for tonight. Thank you guys for watching.